This is my collection of the Madrid pattern that was produced by the Federal Glass Company in Columbus, Ohio between 1932 and 1938. During that time, glassware such as this was made inexpensively so that it could be sold inexpensively or given away as a premium for buying another product. This is what many people refer to as depression glass. We will talk about the colors and some of the pieces that were made in this pattern. These are two of the actual redemption certificates that people used in the 1930s to collect their set of Madrid that they had finished. The bottom redemption ticket has been filled out and as you can see it's for a 32-piece set of the Golden Glow tableware in the Madrid pattern. It was actually uh, collected by a man named Tom Gooden and he finished it off on December 3rd, 1935. The top card is for a 19-piece set and it has not been redeemed at all. This is a table set in Madrid in the golden glow or amber color. Table set is what you would see on most depression era tables. It would consist of a covered butter dish, a sugar bowl, a creamer, and a salt and pepper. I've actually put both pairs of shakers in the amber color here, the footed and the flat. This is a sample of plates in the amber color. As you see here, we've got a luncheon plate. This is a grill plate which was used in many restaurants. Here's a dinner plate, a dessert plate, a bread and butter plate, and this is a relish tray. These are beverage items that you'd find in Amber Madrid. I've got two different round pitchers, two different square ones, I've got two sizes of footed tumblers, and four sizes of flat tumblers. I also have a cup and saucer. This is a sample of serving pieces in the amber color. As you can see here I've got the console bowl and candlesticks, a cookie jar, a platter, a vegetable dish, a large bowl, a couple of different sizes of bowls. I've got both of the sherbets which these are very interesting in that you see the cone footed one on the right and the less frequently one squatty one seen on the left. I also have a cake plate, both of the coasters that you see here, and also the cream soup. The interesting thing about the cake plate, if you can see it, is that it actually has an embossed name of Epler's Bakery right in the center, so it was used as a promotional item for that bakery. This is Madrid in Federal's Madonna Blue color. There were 21 different pieces that have been documented made in this color. As you can see, I don't have but a few of them. I do believe because of the footed shakers, which you see here, that this was early during Madrid's run at the factory. Of the colors that Madrid was produced in, crystal is the one that we know least about. There are only 12 pieces that I've been able to find. However, some authors have stated that there are other pieces such as a pitcher available. We, I just don't know that much about it. it. There are some rather interesting pieces in here. It seems to be of an older part of the pattern because it does have the footed shakers that you see in the back here. And it also has an ashtray, which is one of the rare pieces that you see in any of the colors. So again, just not really sure how many pieces were actually made in this pattern.
With 35 different pieces produced, green was the next largest run of colored glassware in the Madrid pattern. You see it's a nice light green here. I don't have as many pieces in green as I would like, but this is what I found so far. I do think that it was in production for a long time, probably most of the line, especially because you see here we have both varieties of shaker, the footed on the left and the flat on the right. I really believe that the footed were created first, but that's just a conjecture on my part. Again, it's really a nice pattern and looks really good in this color. The iridescent color that you see here was the one that had the fewest number of pieces. In Madrid, it was only done in a bowl and a candlestick to create a console set as you see here. A plate has been seen offered for sale on eBay with the same coloration, but that's all there was to this color. One of the harder colors to find is Federal's pink. Here are the pieces that I've been able to find in Madrid in this color. There were 17 different pieces made according to documentation that I've been able to find. This is all that I've been able to locate, so it is rather a hard color to find. One of the more interesting pieces that I found is based on this bowl which you've seen before. It happens to be a lampshade. It was frosted with a slight acidic compound and then there was a hole drilled out in the center of it. Then it was used as a light cover. Here I have a selection of pictures in Madrid in four colors, amber, pink, blue, and green. What's interesting about these is that the pink and amber that you see here have molded handles, which means that the handles were part of the mold and the molten glass was poured into the mold, the handles were created. The blue and green, however, have applied handles. So there was a mold without a handle and then globs of glass were created after the pieces came out of the mold to make handles. These are much harder to find because the handles are much more delicate and break easily.